Hey guys, welcome to another FIFA 22 career mode video here on the Chesnoy Gaming Channel. This one is one of the more traditional videos we do at the very beginning of the year. It's a transfer budgets video. Early access, of course, via the EA Creators Network. So thank you very much again to those guys for allowing me to upload this video early or record this content early. I think actually I'll be releasing this as you guys get access to the game via EA Play. Uh, for the 10 hour trial if you want to do so then make sure you head over and, uh, and jump onto EA Play to get it now let me know in the comment section if there are any other leagues that you'd like to see transfer budgets for I'll try and keep this one shorter rather than the usual longer form content so we will jump straight in initially I'm only going to record Premier League if you'd like to see other leagues then let me know what other leagues in the comment section down below of course as well let me know down below who you're going to be managing this year as an authentic club, or if you're going to be doing a creator club, like the main series we've got on the channel right now. Episode 2 went up yesterday, as well as episode 1. It was a double upload day, so check it if you missed it. The start of Chesnoid FC. Episode 3 will be coming out later on this afternoon. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any further content, of course, with that notification bell ticked. And please do hit the thumbs up button on this video to let me know that you're enjoying the FIFA 22 content so far. So... We'll jump straight in, shall we? Your Premier League budgets for this season. Arsenal have got some pennies. They've spent quite a bit of money already, of course, in the Premier League this season. But you also have an additional nearly £80 million to your uh, availability if you decide to take over at the Emirates. Obviously, expectations are very high at Arsenal. Expectations that perhaps haven't been met in real life the past couple of seasons. I'm sure Arsenal fans will be... More than uh, open to agreeing with me there rather than actually having a little bit of fight back to that. But Arsenal, squad needs improving. But you've got the money to do it. So if you want Arsenal, you can have a bit of fun there. Aston Villa, they've done some good business in this transfer window in real life as well, of course. With Leon Bailey coming in as well as Emi Buendia. They've spent the Jack Grealish money very well indeed as far as I'm concerned. £35 million available to you at Villa Park as well to further improve the squad at uh, the Villains' team. And brand exposure is the only high board expectation there. That might be a really fun series to do. I may do an Aston Villa save this year. Certainly within the next couple of years. Because they're a side that have a lot of history. And one that I haven't really tended to pay too much attention to in recent times. Brentford. The side, of course, that we were using in our final save last year. £16 million available to them. Uh, they've actually started the Premier League in real life much better than I think a number of us anticipated. So hopefully you guys, if you decide to take over at Brentford, can enjoy a decent run. Ivan Tony is an absolute god on FIFA if FIFA 21 is anything to go by. He was a monster for me in that save. And hopefully he will be for you guys too if you decide to play at Brentford. At Brighton, a side that are rather admittedly overperforming so far this season in real life. A £33 million budget. Of course, Ben White will have to be replaced, but they've started superbly in the Premier League so far this year. If you want to continue that progress on the South Coast, then £33 million is enough, I think, to improve that squad. And then obviously in future years with more prize money for finishing wherever you finish in the Premier League, then fingers crossed at Brighton you can improve and get them up the table and maybe finish in the top half rather than just starting the season in the top half. Burnley. Apologies to Burnley fans for replacing them in my creator club save once again. £22.7 million is the transfer budget there. It's not a massive amount, but Burnley are arguably the smallest club in the Premier League. With, I mean, it's based in a small town in, in Lancashire with a smaller ground. Not a massive amount of attendance each game, but the style of football they play is very unique and it's effective. And they stay in the league. Sean Dice does a wonderful job at Burnley. High financial expectation there. And that's really all you have to do. Stay in the league. And initially, that's going to be enough for the Burnley board. Staying in the league is a little bit uh, a little bit low for the expectation at Chelsea, though. A £100 million transfer budget available to you at Stamford Bridge. And uh, you don't necessarily need to spend that. Because <laughs> the squad is monstrous at Chelsea already with the addition of Romelu Lukaku in the most recent transfer window. Chelsea are already an absolute force in the Premier League. 
High domestic and continental success expected of you. You'd imagine with it being high, not critical, that that's perhaps initially top four and a semi-final or final appearance in the Champions League. But with title aspirations in the Premier League in real life and being reigning champions in the Champions League, you're going to want to win trophies every single season at Stamford Bridge. Brand exposure set to critical as well to keep the money machine booming. And the money we've seen will always tick over as long as Roman Abramovich is in charge. Moving from Chelsea to Crystal Palace aside again with a rather low budget. £26.6 million available there. Still got your key marquee players with uh, Wilfred Zaha of course. Patrick Vieira is manager at Crystal Palace in real life now. And I don't know how well he's going to do. But Roy Hodgson did a decent job at Crystal Palace. And I'm sure you guys would like to take them on to the next step. They're a side that have the potential to do so. Just need your help in getting there. Everton, the side we started with last year and had great success with, thoroughly enjoyed the Everton career on FIFA 21 after, of course, using them in 17 as well. Medium expectations is the majority there. High brand exposure, low financial. They've got some money behind them, Everton, these days. £47.2 million is your transfer budget. A couple of signings made in real life already. Managing to hold on to their most important players as well. Dominic Calvert-Lewin, James Rodriguez is still at the club. Andros Townsend's been drafted in, of course. Players like Ben Godfrey grow really well in career mode. That's what we found last year as well. And obviously Everton, one of the biggest sides in English football throughout the history of the game. And you'll have a lot of fun at Everton. You really genuinely will. Leeds, one of my favourite saves that I've ever done on the save uh, on the uh, channel previously. High brand exposure, medium domestic success. Just top half is probably enough for Leeds as they rebuild and establish themselves back in the Premier League, but you could genuinely, with a £40 million budget, add a player or two to the squad that could help you push for Europa League in Season 1. Certainly Season 2. At Leicester, you've got to be finishing top four. High domestic success expectations, and they will want top four. They've fallen short in real life the past couple of seasons, and it's not been good enough. European football for them, though, in the Europa League in real life, and of course in the safe here as well. High brand exposures on medium continental success, so perhaps a quarter-final appearance there would be enough. But certainly, prioritise the league at Leicester. Get Champions League football back to the King Power Stadium for the first time since they won the league in 2016. Liverpool. Um, yeah, Liverpool win everything. The end. £115.8 million budget to do so. Probably could do with a bit more squad depth at Liverpool, but with some good youngsters coming through like Harvey Elliott and Curtis Jones, there's already a bit of youth there that you could already you could throw some uh, first-team football to and not necessarily need to buy in every area. But I'm sure Liverpool fans would appreciate you buying some players because I know there's been some discontent at Liverpool with their lack of transfer activity over the past couple of seasons. Manchester City. Uh, win everything again, as you might expect, would be the expectation of you in all competitions. Having already spent £100 million on Jack Grealish, you also have £184.4 million to spend as well. City goes without saying. Win everything, every season, and maybe bring the Champions League to the Etihad for the first time. Manchester United, critical youth development there. Now that is a surprise to me. I would have expected it to be about medium, maybe high because they do have some good youngsters come through. Obviously Marcus Rashford, Mason Greenwood, etc. Jesse Lingard and the like, but high continental success, critical domestic, critical brand exposure, but having Cristiano Ronaldo at the team, probably going to help you sell some shirts. Rafael Varane, of course, drafted in as well. And Jadon Sancho, remarkable transfer window for Manchester United in real life. Add a world-class central midfielder to that squad, and I think it's done. £163.6 million to do so. Take your pick of any player in the world. Newcastle. Ugh. Not quite so much money there, but a side that always have a promise, but never really tend to push on. There is a lack of quality there, but build your side around Alain Saint-Maximin. You've got a team. Because he's an absolute player. Love that man. High brand exposure. High financial, unsurprisingly. Uh, youth development set to medium as well. They do bring through a lot of their homegrown talent in Newcastle. So you'll have to continue that. But St. James's Park is a fantastic arena to play your football in. And staying up first season is probably going to be the aim. Then mid-table, you're going to want progression. Newcastle fans are desperate 
for some glory and some positive happy times up in the northeast. Go and provide them for them. Norwich, stay in the league and you'll be happy. £17.8 million, not the best of budgets, to be completely honest. And you've lost Emi Buendia as well. Norwich, the go-to yo-yo side in real life at the moment. They're up. Ah, they're down again. But they're up again. And they're down again, but they're up again. So have a crack at trying to keep Norwich City in the Premier League. Playing at Carroll Road, of course. High financial expectations. Medium youth development. Try and keep players like Todd Cantwell at the club if you can. And make the most out of them. Timu Puki will offer you some goals until you've raised the money to sign a proper Premier League quality level striker. That's going to keep you in the division. Puki scores goals, but he only really flourishes in the Championship. Not quite got enough to keep Norwich in the Premier League single-handedly. The Saints, one of your favourite saves ever on the channel from FIFA 18. Medium brand exposure, medium financial, rather understandably high youth development expectations there. One of the best youth setups in the entire country, Southampton. Low domestic success, low continental success. I'd say a mid-table finish would be expected from Southampton. Certainly you want to keep them in the league. And from there, kick on. I loved doing Southampton in uh, FIFA 18. I may... Go back there for some memories later in FIFA 22 if you might be interested in seeing a Southampton save return. £28.9 million, your budget there. Spuds, love that away kit by the way, absolutely gorgeous. £65.6 .6 million, the expectation at, Totsman, at Tottenham Hotspur. High for domestic and continental success. Tottenham are in the Europa Conference League, the brand new European competition brought to FIFA and real life. This year, it is in the game, and Spurs and Roma are the two main favourites for that competition. So, make sure that you win that competition with Tottenham and get yourself into at least the Europa League. But obviously, you're going to want to try and get top four with that team, with that squad, and you've got some money to improve it too. £65.6 .6 million. Doesn't splash out a lot, Daniel Levy, but he certainly offers a decent transfer budget there, and of course, managed to keep hold of Harry Kane. So, you will still have the talisman through the middle up top. Watford back in the Premier League with £28.9 million at their disposal. Some really good players at Watford that could kick on. Shmuel Asar being the key standout. Medium exposure, medium brand exposure, medium financial, low domestic success. Again, it's just going to be a case of trying to stay in the division. Watford were in the Premier League for a few seasons before they got relegated back down again. But bounce back at the first attempt and we'll certainly be wanting to stay in the division this time around. Make sure you do that with them. West Ham... European football for them this year in the Europa League. £33.5 million available to you at the London Stadium. And actually, quite high expectations for a club like West Ham. Medium domestic success. That's going to be probably top half, if not Europa League qualification again. Low continental. They're just happy to be there for the money, I would imagine. High brand exposure. Medium financial, medium youth development. Again, West Ham United, great youth setup. Some fantastic players come through there over the years. Rio Ferdinand, Joe Cole, Frank Lampard, to name just a few. Michael Carrick, another one. Plenty of expectation at West Ham. But a side that should be top half. Big side West Ham with a lot of history in the game again. Do well there, and I'm sure you will. Just don't let your eyes go funny with all of the bubbles at London Stadium because that plays with my eyesight whenever I play there. Wolves. I don't know about Wolves. When they first came up, it was a surprise to see them finish in the top half and as high as they did, about seventh, I think, for their first season, wasn't it? Then last season, third season, I think, back in the Prem, wasn't it? Fell off a little bit with obviously missing Raul Jimenez for the majority of the season with that head injury. But he's back this year and under new management, as Nuno's gone to Tottenham, Wolves are a side that have great promise. Fulfill that promise if you can. Take Wolves to the next level. Another side with a massive history in the game. One of the earliest clubs to be founded in the country in 1877. But for now, £40 million available to you and the opportunity to push yet further. And that will do you for the Premier League. Still a video that's probably just over 10 minutes or so, but certainly shorter than the 30 or 40 minute videos that we get for main career mode. Another one, like I say, is out later today. Link in the description to my Twitch. Come and follow me over there. Links down below to my social media platforms as well. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, most importantly. Right, I'm going to go and record episode three of the Creator Club career mode. Up the Chesneyans. Let me know in the comment section who you're going to be managing in the Premier League if you do a Premier League save this year and what other leagues you might like to see the budgets for. That'll do for now, though. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.